What is up, my friends? Now the microphone is on. How's it going? Oh, excuse me. Good morning, everyone. Good morning, everyone. Welcome for another week of awesome magic streams. We got uh, B Mets and Chef, Iro Jack, Curzone. Curzone, I haven't seen you in a while. And uh, Iro Jack, Smash Donkeys, everyone in chat hanging out. What's up, my friends? Admiral Ben. We are playing some uh, a variety of stuff today. JW Player, what's up? I'm back. Welcome back, my friend. We're starting off today with Experimental Frenzy in everything. Uh, Affinity right here. Elves after. I'm trying out some Legacy uh, Arclight Phoenix as well. We'll get to that, though. We'll get to that. So, I think the card Ex Experimental Frenzy is awesome. And want to try it out in modern. Have a few ideas here. May or may not be good. This is a... Uh, the first one, Frenzy Affinity. So, let's talk Experimental Frenzy a little bit. So this card is obviously awesome. Um, if you've played it all in Standard, you get to go nuts with it. The two limiting factors of Frenzy are mana and land drops. You can only play as many spells as mana you have, and you can only keep playing stuff as long as you don't hit two lands in a row. So we've been trying to circumvent this a lot um, in Standard, you know, with Duncan Dinos, we used Wayward Swordtooth, Treasure Map, stuff like that. However, in Modern, we can go a little crazier. We can lower our land count kind of crazy, play a lot of free cards, and go there. So, our first stop on this Experimental Frenzy Rodeo is Affinity. And this is a little more like old-school, traditional Affinity, because we're playing actual Affinity for Artifacts cards. Um, playing a whopping 19 zero-mana spells, only 14 lands. We have extra mana sources in Springleaf Drum, Mox Opal, God, it's so ugly, and Paradise Mantle. This is an interesting one. Uh, was played back in the day in Standard and Block Constructed and stuff. Hasn't really made the jump into uh, Modern because Springleaf Drum is usually just better. But and then we got our Affinity cards. We have Platings like usual. Um, no Ravagers, no Steel Leaf Overseers, Steel Leaf Overseers, Steel Overseers. But uh, still playing the platings, and of course four frenzies. This list may or may not be worse than regular affinity. It probably is worse. It's a first draft, obviously, but it does play better against cards like Stony Silence, things like that, because we're not super reliant on one ones for two that don't necessarily do anything. Uh, you know, we can play some weird forces and stuff. I don't know. We'll see. All the usual sideboard cards. We'll just jump right in. All right, we'll just jump right in. This could be terrible, this could be good. I don't know, that's why it's an experiment. And today is an experimental frenzy. So, we have experimental frenzy elves coming up later also. Let's go. What's up, Sonic? We are live. What do you guys think? Is this that good or not good? Poll time. Poll time. Is this heaven or is this hell? Poll 70. Is this heaven or is this hell? Cast your vote in chat. What do you guys think? Heaven or hell? Cast your vote in chat. Good morning, everyone. wants to play against us. It's a Monday morning. Who's playing Magic Online on a Monday morning, you know? Grape Shot. Grape Shot's a little deep. I think just playing a million creatures is probably fine. Although some way to give haste would be nice too. Um, we'll see that in the elf deck later. Cast your vote in chat. Is this heaven or is this hell? Alright, well there's Frenzy. This is a this is a turn two frenzy. So if this doesn't work, not gonna be it. We're keeping. Against humans? Sure. 
14 hells and 11 heavens. All right, I'll take that. Frenzy plus Tire Tracker? You don't draw the cards. All right, so Mox Opal. Springleaf Drum. Signal Pest. Frogmite. Seven. All right, I mean, this is turn two Frenzy. God, don't play a Freebooter. I find your lack of faith disturbing. I suppose Thalia is also annoying. Ah, uh, they have Freebooter. God damn it. Jamming all the lands off the top to get clues? Yeah, but you, you can't draw the cards with the clues. They're worthless. Boo! I get a boo from my opponent here. Alright, that works. One, two, three, four, five. This costs two. Makes it cost one. Perfect. We'll just get them the old fashioned way, right? No, they're saying boo earns. Cannon resub, what's up? Just casual attack for 10 on turn 2. Good job, Frogmite. You did your duty. Darth Cookie, Darth Cookie says... This is probably one of the decks that plays out like Heartless Summonings decks do. You either draw the card, or your deck is good, or you don't, then you lose. I mean, we still have platings and stuff in our deck, you know? We do have a 6-1 a and a 4-4 four, four in play on turn 2 here, you know? It's not too bad. Mantis Rider, sure. I guess we'll plating up the Mirror Enforcer. Paradise Mantle. All right. Um. So seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. That's twelve or one short. Actually, I guess if we act with. We if we equip the plating to Mirror Enforcer and attack. They have to chump block. It's lethal. And it's, and it's a chump, because, yeah, I like that. Alright, so let's put the plating on the... This is, it's 11, this is 12, this is 13. They didn't attack a Mantis Rider? I didn't even notice. That's so funny. <laughs> That's game! Frenzy Affinity Yoda, welcome. We are playing Welding Jar. Alright, so they're playing humans. We're going to want some dismembers. Maybe Whip Flare, and maybe Blood Moon, and maybe Aether Grid. There's a lot of cards. Um, we get decide which ones we want, which ones we don't want. Um, Welding Jar is kind of worthless against them. They don't really kill things. And if they're gonna kill stuff, it's gonna be with like Static Caster. So all the Welding Jars can go. Um, Lob Mancer, 31 months in a row. Lob Mancer, you the bomb. Um, so, I don't think you want Aether Grid. Whip Flare is also weird. Maybe on the draw, Whip Flare isn't even good enough. I think it's still probably pretty good. Um, Blood Moon. It sucks. Maybe we should shave a Frenzy or two. This, is, this seems like it's more about, like, our cyborg card. Kind of mantle. I'll cut one, one Frenzy. And... 
Can we just two whip flare? We can't we, we can't bring in too many non artifact cards, you know? Let's try this. Right, Blood Moon is pretty crippling. The problem is like if we cast Blood Moon after they already have a board, or if they have a vial, it's not good. But I think that the the punk out factor is probably worth it. Um, and we have obviously Mox Opal and Drum to cast it quickly as well. Let's we can also shave a Mirror Enforcer. We'll just leave it all, all four frenzies and shave a Mirror Enforcer. Let's try this. No idea if this is right. First time playing a deck, we just built it. We'll find out. Alright. This is fine. No one drop. Wow. That's interesting. Paradise Mantle. I know. The Crips are mismatched. The Mox Opal's ugly. I get it. Alright. I'm, I'm not perfect. I am human also. Um... We got Signal Pass Vault Scourge. It's casual. Yeah, play most of your hand on turn one, etc., etc. The art on the Opal is kind of cool. I just hate the I hate the fancy borders. That's right. We're actually playing the Affinity Mechanic. Nice Thalia. Dope. All right. Another Nexi. So we're going to fire up Nexus, Equip Mantle, Cast Vault Scourge, Attack. Right, we'll go wide here. No Mantis Rider, please. Or we could just draw... A, what's it called next turn? Frenzy. Right, they have Mantis Rider. Mantis Rider is so good. Springleaf Drum. Mm, that's not good. All right, we're firing him. Is this, is this aggressive? Yes, it is aggressive. What else are we gonna do? It's 10, we gain four. Sure. Drama is definitely better than Mantle. But we're looking, we're in the market for extra spring leaf drums in this deck, so. Alright. 8, 17. What's up, Xerox? Good run at the, GP, at the GP, my friend. Xerox, our, our lovable sub and resident mill pro, was on camera at the GP playing mill. It was pretty sweet. Alright, that's 12. Yeah, Manish Rider's just too good, you know? Reflector Mage? What's up, Better Call Saul? Uh, how did I end up in Jersey? Uh, I lost my last few rounds playing for cash. Right on time. Right on time. Um... Yeah, that's gonna stunt the uh, the development a little bit. I think we're dead here. I don't want to show them Blood Moon. I don't think we can't really attack. We haven't really drawn any good payoff cards. Um, yeah, I think we're gonna also just turns off our next eye. Yeah, I'm just gonna scoop. All 
not going to show him Moon. All right, Moon's much much better on the play also, so I think this is fine. We're gonna run that back. I mean, they have two blockers for my attack, so like the attack doesn't even do anything. Can't play, can't cast Vault Scourge. Yeah, the Manic Blast was a question mark. The problem with playing actual affinity cards is you really need to have the maximum amount of artifacts in your deck. Um, otherwise, they don't work as well. So I wanted to go kind of all in on artifacts. Um, Galvanic Blast is pretty sweet, you know, but, you know, we're not necessarily guaranteed to have red mana early either, so, you know, I wasn't really sure. So, this hand, any Mox, Drum, or Paradise Mantle, actually, Man Mantle doesn't do it, any Mox or Drum casts... Blood Moon on turn two. That's probably not good enough, though. Wolves Hangleborn. Mirror Enforcer. Now that's a name I haven't heard in a long time. Hmm. Sand like kinda doesn't do anything. No, because we, we can't draw a mantle on turn zero, so. Mm. On the play here. I think we're going to mulligan. I think his hand's just not good enough. Just not really doing a ton. Woof. All right. This hand needs to draw a creature, it's a little easier. Easy bottom. Alright, we should draw a creature so we can cast our whip, whip flare and we'll kill our opponent's stuff and be fun. It's definitely a more interactive hand than we're used to, but I'm just gonna hold on to this paradise mantle, there's no reason to play it yet. It's not classic affinity, it's frenzy affinity. Aether Vial. All right, now Blood Moon looks pretty bad. I don't really like if I like Blood Moon, honestly. Mm. Mana. We have the manas. Human? Human. Human. I'm psychic. The boot! Alright, well, we have two removal spells, so. Kind of an awkward hand for us. Not great. They mulligan too, but they have a pretty uh, pretty full hand. They mulligan described to the top. Their hand looks pretty good. Our hand's kind of awkward. Man, they are in the tank. Obviously, Whiffler is much worse if they know about it, and they can use uh, like a Thalia's Lieutenant to buff up their creatures, so it doesn't really kill anything. They took the plating. All right, Memnite. So the fear is that they have access to um, a Thalia's Lieutenant. In which case, our whip flare will not kill their freebooter. Pop Mancer resub, welcome back, my friend. Mm, if 
But if Vile going to two, it's going to be so hard to use this whip, whip, whip Flare effectively. I'm just going to cast the Whip Flare. It's not what we're looking for, but now that they know about it, they can just play around it. Things get really bad if they have a... Uh, they have um, Lothalia's Lieutenant and stuff, just whatever. It's not ideal, but we have Plating and Dismember. We're definitely behind on resources this game. Yeah, I like Relic Beamets, I'm not sure. Five cards in hand. Let's just draw a frenzy and I'll land, I guess. B mats, I'm not really sure. I haven't played Scape Shift really at all. Probably want some number of anchors main, but I don't really know. Vile first. Alright. They have a Thalia, sure. Meddling Mage? Sure. Alright. Oh, we drew Frenzy. We did it. Alright, now I need to extend the game and get this thing in place somehow, but it costs so much mana. Um, I mean, they, they knew we had this, so naming... Plating's a little weird. Alright, um... Hi, Super Nintendo Chalmers. We're two mana off casting Frenzy because of the Thalia. But we also kind of want to cast the Plating. I don't even think Plating matters that much. Um, I'm almost tempted to just kill the Thalia. Try and get this Frenzy online. We're not. We're both sort of in this, like, you know, unexciting game state of not having much pressure. Um... Yeah, I'm just going to say go. I guess if I... Nah, yeah, we're just going to say We're probably going to end step the dismember on Thalia and hope to draw a mana source for uh, Frenzy. Oh, that's a huge tilt. Now we can't do anything. Alright, I guess we should have cast it. We should have cast dismember in response. Alright. <sighs> I feel like humans is the literal fun police in modern. It's very, it's very, very good against random decks. Why do we not respond? Yeah, I probably should have. I have my finger on the F two button. like all the cards you boarded in. Like if, I can, if I draw Blood Moon this turn, I'm really sad. Ox Opal. Great. Yeah, we could have just killed that and then cast the Frenzy. Yeah, he probably threw this game, unfortunately. 
Light is not what the Vile Activation Resolve. So obviously, we just have a, a Phantasmal Image. Um, yeah. So we, we might have gone Opal into Frenzy. Yeah, I just, I'm, I'm sorry, guys. I just screwed up. That's really frustrating. We drew the, like, the best possible card, too. Three, six, nine. I mean, I guess we could just play the Opal and hope we draw. Hope we draw a land next turn for Frenzy. Good morning. You blow it. Whatever. All right. Should I kill the Thalia in response to the Vial activation? Frustrating. Frustrating to say the least, because I'm dumb. Pierce Denny, and welcome to the stream. Experimental Frenzy and everything. We're trying out this, exp this Experimental Frenzy Affinity deck. I can't talk today. And uh, don't forget also that today is Monday. It's my video day on CoolStuffInc.com. CoolStuffInc.com, my new home on the web. Look at the it's Friday's article. How I learned to stop worrying and love the Tron. Like those memes? Everyone likes memes. Check it out, coolstuffinc.com. It was Friday's article, and my video goes up around about in about two hours. Also, coolstuffinc.com is your best spot for card games, board games, miniatures, role-playing games, supplies, and more. Check it out, coolstuffinc.com. Uh, start the day with a punt. All right, opening hand is a zero land keep. We have Opal, Welding Jar, Mox, Frogmite, Frogmite, Pest. This hand is actually insane. Yeah, I mean, Lemon Nursery, it wasn't like a, you know, a super, super punt of like, you know, oopsie, but. What's up, Gag? Bam. Now let's draw a mana source too and get this frenzy going. I miss Frogmite. Look at Frogmite. Frogmite came from a time where Tarmogoyf wasn't a creature yet. Aether Vile. Okay. Oh, nice spreading seas opponent. Okay. We're gonna equip here. I think we're gonna equip the other one too, and then it's attack for three. Actually, I should I should equip here. I. And, yeah, I'm sloppy this morning. I should have equipped on the the pest first, then the frog might. So now I'm attacking for three instead of four. It's fine. Draw land, play a frenzy, and go nuts. Yeah, nice, nice spreading seas, opponent. You got those spreading seas. What's up, Lord Dragon? Another vial. Here we go. Any mana source. That's a Mem Knight. That is a Mem Knight. That is not a mana source. It's okay, though. Still haven't drawn a land yet, and we're doing fine. Mausoleum Wanderer. God, that's a tilt. 
I don't know why I was thinking Merfolk and not and not um oh god. Merfolk and not spirits. Obviously spirits makes more sense than Merfolk. Okay, yeah. I should also I'm I'm just playing like shit. Yeah, F6. Just didn't even consider Mausoleum Wanderer as a thing. Jeez. What's up, Ross? I don't like Snickers. I can have like the one. Th I can't even attack. I can't realistically attack. Band spirits? I don't know. It seems fun. I'm glad Ross here lay the burns. I deserve it. Another spell queller for my frenzy too. This this sucks. Okay, well, at least our frenzy's gonna resolve and not get spell colored. Even though we're probably just dead because they have triple lord this turn. Good lord. I mean, we're dead. So. Should we play the land? Thanks, Pop Mancer. Appreciate that. Here's our Frenzy, facing down 145 flying damage next turn. One spell. Two spells. Three spells. God damn it. Four spells and fizzle. I mean, if that had happened like two turns prior, that would have been sweet. You know, it is turn five. Um, it's unfortunate. All right. Um, Whip Flare doesn't even seem that good, it doesn't really kill anything. Welding Jar does not seem necessary. I mean, they could have, like, Stony Silence or whatever, but... I guess they're bringing Aether Grid, in case they have Stony Silence and cut these Welding Jars, because they're actually worthless against them. Um, I'm going to bring a Whip Flur. It just doesn't kill it. They have, like, the 1-3s and the Lords and stuff. It just doesn't even seem worth it. All right, let's do this. All right? Wake up. Right, Burnsy? Wake up. No, oh, that's lunch break. That's not a thing. Burnsy's doing good. 
Come on, let's go. Uh, this no lander is not keepable. Mulligan. All right, this hand's great. Keep. We did say at the beginning this deck might be awful. Just throwing that out there. That was that was um that was called. We have turn one, land drum, opal, turn two. Nah, that sucks. There's no way to get a turn two frenzy here. Um can't use the drum and the yeah. So is Mem Knight even a good draw? I guess not. Because we already have pest for the drum. I don't think this is not a turn two frenzy. Unless I'm missing something. Nexus, drum, mox, go. Oh right, yeah, I, I am missing. I'm, I'm stupid. I really am off to, to off today. Jeez, I'm just a moron. Flying men. Oh, we're doing it. I couldn't play the best. All right, we're doing it. Let's go. Frenzy time. Turn to Frenzy. This counters instants and sorceries. And a land. Alright, that's fun. So the silence here is like annoying, but it's not the end of the world. And you know, we have like frog mites and stuff in our deck. All right, let's go. Paradise Mantle, cast it. Mirror Enforcer. Four, five, six, it costs, costs three at the moment. Ugh. Well, Whip Flare is in our sideboard, so. All right, so Enforcer costs three. That's a lot. I can animate my Nexus just to make it a uh, more affinity for future things. Make it cost. That makes it cost two. Makes it cost one, and then you just cast it. Now it costs one. Just gonna rip it. I guess we just tap this. Oh my god! Come on! There's no justice in the world. Alright. Equip this here. We'll get him next turn. All right. We'll get him next turn.
W Mag says, "Am I the only one who thinks Frenzy is trash?" I mean, the card is great. It's just a not easy card to figure out how to use properly. Sing a Mem Knight. Yeah, I could have done that probably. Oh my God, Reflector Mage. That's so good against us. Why would they do this to us? Yeah, on, on the Mighty Princess is insane. All right, let's go. Frogmite. Let me get that plating, though. Paradise Mantle. Another plating? Okay. I guess the Memnite can attack, so we'll just prioritize the... Citadel. Frogmite. We're kind of doing it here. All right. Kind of did it for a little bit. Fire up a plating. 11. Do we smash or do we just equip the other plating here? No, nah, I think we just smash and trade. It's fun. Yes, we have. They have to be aware of Ink Moth plating the. Whoa. They just took that? What are they, crazy? They're a maniac. All right. I had lethal last turn. At what point did I have lethal? Did I cast second plating using the Ink Moth? That I don't matter to equip it too. I'm seeing Memnite. Wow. Double land. Um. I mean, now we're just dead, doesn't matter. So, just go activate, activate, attack. So, the goal is we're, we're only playing 14 lands, so we shouldn't hit double lands too often. So,. I'm so groggy this morning. I can't even blame daylight savings because I actually gained an hour. We didn't lose an hour, you know? Cast turn two frenzy. Won the game. Double Mountain. Ugh. This hand's kind of gross. It's also bad against Path to Exile. Yeah, I don't drink caffeine. I'm going to ship this. This hand just seems shitty. Alright, this is fine. Buy this. We're gonna bottom that. Hmm. Land, Memnite, Memnite, Opal, Plating. Turn to Vault Scourge, Equip. We're gonna bottom this.
Scrybug may actually end up end up wanting it, so maybe you know it might end up paying off. But we have so few mana sources in our deck, I figured we wouldn't really want it. Obviously, we draw a land next turn. I might win the game for us. So it, it depends, but. Frog Skull Captain. Signal Pest. It's plus four. Yeah. Let me just equip and smash. Rockstall Captain Captain makes the uh, Aether Grid look pretty bad. They can get more stuff going with that angle. That's not a spirit. I call flavor fail. Alright, let's draw his land. That's a vault scourge. I'm gonna just lead the Memnites back. I don't think I want to trade a Memnite for a 2-1 right now with a Aether Grid in our hand. Aether Grid's worthless. That's a Frogmite. I think we are dead. Yeah, I mean, we're just super dead. Alright. So, tribal decks with Aether Vial seem difficult. They just put more stuff in play that's bigger than our stuff. Let's try again. If you're just tuning in, welcome to the stream. Frenzy Affinity is what we're trying. It may be really bad, but it looks amusing, looks fun. Trying to figure out experimental frenzy in modern. Only way to do that is to experiment. So, this hand is dope. Opal, Opal, Drum, Vault Scourge. That's a lot of mana. We have another turn to uh, turn to frenzy, or now we're a little short on turn two. We need a creature, a free creature, or a mana source. Karn, Cyan, Aversa. Just seems worse than Frenzy, right? Can't have too many 4-drops. Don't thought seize. Whew. It's possible that Plating is better than Frenzy, but let's just draw a land here. Land, mana source. Land, zero mana creature. Bang, let's do it. Turn two. The suspense is killing me. Yes. 
What's going on, Magic Online? I'm trying to play some Magic here. Bam. Turn two frenzy. Party time. At least that they have a sat. No, sat that, was, that was still shuffle. Ugh. It's okay. It's still good. It's still, it's still a good turn too. We're not complaining here. Looks like they're playing Marty Pyromancer. Faithless looting. Right. It looks like they're playing Mardu. They're not going to have a way to blow this up, but that's okay. We're just going to go nuts next turn. I'm dropping. You're dropping frames. Tell me I'm dropping frames. You're the one dropping frames. Bam. Frogmite. Let's go. Memnite. Let's go. Let's keep a spell count here. What is going on? No, just the my, just a different spot. See? Spring Leaf Drum, third spell, Cranial Plating, fourth spell, Nexus, fifth spell, or whatever, fifth card, Memnite, sixth card, and we're looking good here, Jolene, Welding Jar, seventh card, Paradise Mantle, eighth card, Opponent concedes. Reckless Bushwhacker? Uh, maybe. It's not an artifact, so I don't know. I do agree a way to give stuff haste could be cool. We have uh we're playing Mass Hysteria in our goblin or our elf deck next league. That was pretty sweet. You see, I know we're 0-2 and we got browned. We made a few play mistakes, but was that worth it? That made it all worth it, right? That was pretty sweet. Um, I don't think I want anything here. Like maybe Aether Grid in case they have Stony Silence, but just run that back. I think I could cut like a Welding Jar or two for Aether Grid. Answers uh, Pyromancer as well as Lingering Souls too. Welding Jar sort of. So kind of goblins is dead. That deck sucked. Cut like a mantle and a jar. Hey, what is going on? I won! Maybe my opponent's computer's blowing up or something? Like, I'll take it. We beat him so bad that game, we won the whole match. I like that. Easy. Tormods for their yard, passive aggressive ellipsis. Let's talk about passive aggressive ellipsis for a second. One of the most common things in YouTube comments or Twitch comments is the passive aggressive ellipsis. Things like, Tormods for their yard, dot, dot, dot. Or why didn't you do this, dot, dot, dot. You know, just say what you got to say. Don't got to be passive aggressive about it. Just say it. Happens in YouTube comments all the time. Shriekhorn? That's crazy. That's crazy. That's your thinking dots? Well... It looks like, it reads like, like I'm not, I'm not calling you out in particular, I'm just saying in general, because usually it's more like aggressive than that. Not aggressive, it's, it's more like, why didn't you just kill them? Dot, dot, dot. It's like very like obvious things, you know? Uh, sounds dope. Keep. 
like affinity with no arcbound ravagers dot 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 you know YouTube comments are just like the most unreal alright let's go drum time Do you play the mantle? I think we just hold it. Kept the perfect hand. Ooh, storm? Who can storm harder, us or them? All right, these Paradise Mantles have not been very good. I'm just going to throw that one out there. Just a little soft toss. Um, Oh, if we get remanded next turn, I'm going to lose my shit. Alright, might be, might be uh, drum set time. It's likely our root opponent kills this next turn. Oh. oh my head hurts. Goblin Electromancer. What's up, Lump? We are live. Mox Opal. Oh, come on. <laughs> Why would you do this to us? Why? Oh, we're definitely dead next turn. Unless they just have all Goblin Electromancers. Yo, dog. Heard you like the experimental frenzy. Um, sunset. I didn't put in chromatic stars because I figured that drawing the card with frenzy in play is worthless. But you are correct; it would clear the top card. Um, it is possible. That star makes it. We're not dead. We're still alive. We're still alive. We're still alive. All right. Let's keep playing. Let's keep this Nexus ready. Ink Moth Nexus. Frogmite. Signal Pest. Plating. Might get remanded here. Remand is so good against us. It's basically just cantrip counterspell. But. Uh. 
1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. All right. I guess we're going for the... I'm going for the kill. I mean, I, I, they, I don't know what they could have. Sometimes decks fail. Okay. Who saw that coming? They played turn two Baral. We flipped a second frenzy, and our odds to win that game were probably sub 2%. Uh um, I mean, won. Cool. All right, we're going to bring in all of this and cut all of these and a mantle. And maybe a frenzy, honestly. Nah, we can't cut a frenzy. Get the hell out of here. Uh, cut a mirror enforcer. I don't think I want dismember. Aether grid? No. We have our Tormod scripts. Damping, damping sphere. Ah, oh, this card's so bad with our frenzy. That's a deck building oopsie. Um, see, sphere with frenzy would have been a great passive aggressive ellipsis. Spear with frenzy, passive aggressive ellipsis. Yeah, yeah, there you go. Rod's got it. That's the perfect type of passive aggressive ellipsis. Spear with frenzy dot dot dot. Cause what it, when you say spear with frenzy dot dot dot, you're actually saying, "Why are you playing spear with frenzy, you idiot?" But you're not like comfortable with just saying it and being an outright asshole. So you're just trying to like hide it behind your ellipsis, you know. Canonist is probably a lot better, yes. Um, and Canonist is castable off of all of our multicolored things. I think his deck might want Chromatic Star. I can buy it. Um. We're still gonna play it though. I mean, we just play it and they, you know, have to remove it and stuff. Whatever. It is what it is. Sugar coating. Yeah, I guess he's star being in this deck, honestly. Uh, I mean, this is a pretty classic affinity hand. This can kills pretty quick. We're gonna keep. We have like Vault Scourge to gain some life too. Amulet of Safekeeping. That's too narrow towards just Storm, I think. Visions goes bottom, bottom. Tormod script. I should have waited on the crypt. I should have waited one turn. They're not going to kill us next turn. Don't let them know about this. That was a mistake. I should have just held this. It's fine. It is what it is, but... Alright. We are probably getting remanded here, which kind of sucks, but... Alright. I almost don't even want to go for it. I'd rather really just cast Signal Pest. I feel like they're, they're going to have something, I feel like. They keep seven. They kept seven. They scry to the bottom with Divisions, though. Eh, screw it. Show me. Echoing Truth. All right, sure. The truth has been served. Spring leaf drum.
from Quip. This is a significant attack. Yeah, I'd bust the plating also, but what are you gonna do? End step. Desperate ritual, gifts ungiven, and we have a lovely Tormod script in play. Past in Flames, Ritual, Brawl, Electromancer. So I think you want to give them both creatures and bin Past in Flames Ritual. And then we just have Tormod Script ready to go for the Past in Flames. Second creature is kind of redundant anyway. So yeah, I like this. I suppose giving them Past in Flames. If I gave them Ritual Past in Flames, yeah, they could probably go off in the face of Crypt there. Because they, they make a bunch of mana, cast Pass in Flames, we have to Crypt, and then just make mana and flash it back. Why the upkeep stop? I just wanted to, to maybe Crypt them, depending on what they had. Alright. Ritual. So flashback is five, effectively four, this is fine. We can't let them have priority. So now this is two, three, four. So yeah, now now is this is the point we need to cast the or we need to crypt them. Because they can uh they'll have five mana after this, and they can cast I guess they would just cast past ones, we just crypt them anyway. Yeah, I'm I'm being stupid. I'm really off today, guys. I'm sorry, my head is really just like pounding. Um yeah, which one this was off. So yeah, this is fine. We should wait for them to actually cast past in flames and then crypt them. And Sky resub eight months. What's up, friend? There's Brawl. Ooped. Hydrate. Yes, I'm drinking. I'm drinking. Wipe away would be gas. They just seem really dead here. I don't, I don't know what they're, what they're really going for. I do need some Nerds Rope. I always need Nerds Rope. It's like Popeye and Spinach. We won! Burnsy, we did it. That last game was something was something, something for the ages. Alright. Let's finish strong here. We're going to run this back, I think. Um, we're going to fix the deck a little bit and run this back. Experimental Frenzy Tron. That's that's an interesting one. We have Experimental Frenzy Elves on the docket too. So um, that's going to be a little bit later. I don't know. I mean, me and Nicole, like, we watched Infinity War last night. Went to bed around like 12.30. I got like six or seven hours, maybe like seven hours sleep. I don't know. It was really, really groggy today. I don't know why I didn't, I didn't drink last night. I got a reasonable night's sleep. I don't know. My opinion on Streetlight Manifesto, one of the most underrated bands of all time. Yes, I think Streetlight Manifesto, one of the most underrated bands of all time. They are phenomenal. This hand's something else. Springleaf Drum. We are on the play. I could buy that. I should wait now. We're going we're to go Opal Jar, Memnite, Pest, Frogmite, go. Someone's got a case of the Mondays. Yes, my name is Jim Davis. That's right. Mondays. Garfield, etc. Got it. I think we just bottom this. Alright, well, our hand is doing stuff. Now we can't play our whole hand on turn one. We are a little short of that. Playing most of our hand on turn one. Fortunately, Mulligan's hurt. Up, oh, storm count five. 
Mulligans hurt uh, Mirrored Forcer a good amount. Well, this is classic affinity. Frog Mites and Mirror Enforcers. What's up, pal? New sub, what's your name? Where are you from? Welcome. It's a pretty fast goldfish here, so. This is 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13 next turn. Yes, I, I miss the old, old Affinity decks. Like, we're talking like Pro Tour. What Pro Tour is that? Uh, mirror. It's like old standard. Yeah, like this. Arcbound Ravager, Arcbound Worker. Back in the day, the cool thing to do is play Arcbound Worker on turn one and say, working on it. Disciple of the Vault, Frogmite, Mirror Enforcer, Tooth of Kiskoria, Skull Clamp's a little silly, but the, all the art, actual artifact lands, those are good times. They're just saying, ah. Uh, well, we're a little off of that, but. Alright, attack for. Th 12, 13, your turn. It's true, Arc by Worker has uh, been seeing play again. Alright, well, we didn't cast Frenzy that game, but we we did it. We did a, we did some stuff. We have no idea what they're doing. They went Steam Vents Island Flood Strand. I'm a stamp pat. Whatever. They have Stony Silence, we'll figure it out later. Uh, Thirst for Knowledge wasn't played in Affinity, really. Thoughtcast was, for sure. Yeah, Disciple of the Vault. Could be Jeskai, could be Storm, could be Blue Eye Control, could be... I mean, they had no interaction at all, so it seems it seems odd that they'd be playing a Control deck. Um, with, like, and they didn't draw a Bolt, a Helix, a Path, you know, like, anything like that at all. So, Serum Visions, Opt... Just nothing. It's pretty hard to know what they're on, honestly. Stop trying to eat Burnsy! For those who don't know, of course, Burnsy is uh, our mascot. Hey, wake up, bud. You're on TV. And uh, people's cats really want to eat Burnsy. Follow me on Twitter, of course, at DavisMTG. Look at this. Computer. The wheel stopped working. Stop trying to eat Burnsy. Look at this. Look at all these cats that want to eat Burnsy. Look at this. They all want to eat Burnsy. Check it out. Follow me on Twitter at DavisMTG. If your cat does this, use the hashtag stop trying to eat Burnsy. There's a whole bunch of them. Check them out. Alright, on Twitter, follow me. Check out the YouTube, dude. Alright, um, this hand is fun. Alright, it, it was Storm. So, they probably just had like a ritual heavy Storm hand and just died. So, Burns is a gerbil. That was a really good draw. Um,. Memnite, Memnite, Mox Opal. This is just plating, probably, right? One, two, three, four. Yeah, it's so just plating. Next turn is Scourge, Equip, Enforcer. Oh, Burnsy. Burnsy is already completely neurotic. Like, he's just. 
at all times. So if he knew every cat in the world wanted to eat him, oh boy, he would he would have an aneurysm. So don't tell him. He's back there like, I can hear you. Burnsy uh, will be two years old uh, this month, actually. All right, well, um, we're doing it. This is turn two. Hope you got that turn three kill, opponent. All right, Pals from California. I've been playing since RTR. Favorite deck is Arena Rector Nitfit. Nick Fit. Favorite card is Veteran Explorer. Sweet. Thanks, pal. All right, they, they shattered our plating. Still have these mirror forcers though. Still a pretty good attack coming next turn. Yeah, we're gonna do a Burnsy Burnsy birthday stream. Brent Burns eats cats for breakfast. That's right. Brent Burns has to come and defend Burnsy. All right. Well, we're probably dead next turn. Um, but what are we gonna do? A braid. I mean, the more crappy removal spells they have, the less likely it is they kill us. So they only have three cards left now. Could be worse. BCW Burnsy sleeves. Yep, we we need some cool Burnsy merchandise. This is why you can't play uh, too many interactive cards in your uh, storm deck, folks, because you uh, you draw all those and you can't combo. That plays. A little Burnsy swag. All right, well, we're just slamming here, so. I only have three cards left. What's up, John? Burns, everyone's talking about you when you're sleeping. All right, let's get, get that ass up. Are you running a tube? You're running a tube. Burns, he loves tubes. There you go. So far, the deck has proven you don't need Experimental Frenzy to win. Well, yeah, I mean, like, the the important thing about building a deck in a, in, in a format is you should be able to win without your namesake card. They have Echoing Truth. Okay. That's annoying, obviously, but let me just slam with everything anyway at this point. Uh, we're two and two. All right, well, kill us, I guess. You have three cards. We won! That was the weirdest 3 2 of all time. I'm not going to lie. Um, uh, Lord Dragon, Nicole had a problem with that earlier. Um, are you using the auto set? Okay, um, yeah, that was kind of cool. So we're gonna make a few changes. We're, we're gonna run this back because that was so fast. We're gonna run it back. I'm gonna make, some, make a few changes to the deck though. Um, so if you're watching on YouTube, look for a video to come out in the future of the next version of this deck. I think what I want to do is I want to um, I want to play Chromatic Star. I think I think we can we can slim down on Paradise Mantle. Mantle didn't seem great. Maybe like cut another Mantle. I think Chromatic Stars could be in a deck too. That might let us play even less lands. Star also will help us cast the Aether Sworn Canonists that are going to go on the sideboard. Um, and I think I want four Frenzy still. I just want to draw the Frenzy, you know? So, but yeah, so if deck seems cool, look for a future version on YouTube, and then we're going to play another version immediately right after. So if you're watching on YouTube, thanks for watching. Make sure you follow. Otherwise, the stream will continue. The YouTube video will not. So, YouTube, deuces. Nice shorty for you.
Sorry I played so bad. I'm, my head is not really there. <laughs> 